Infinitive absolute. An infinitive is the basic form of a verb, without any tense, person, gender or number. In English, the infinitive is usually preceded by the word to, for example, to do. Take as an example the verb yishpatu, which means they will judge. This has a tense, future, a person, third person, a gender, masculine, and a number, plural. An infinitive form of the same verb is lishpot, to judge, which does not have any of those four characteristics. There are two infinitives in Biblical Hebrew, the infinitive construct and the infinitive absolute. The infinitive absolute is used to emphasise different types of verbs. It never has prefixes or suffixes, unlike the infinitive construct. The most common use of the infinitive absolute is to emphasise a perfect or imperfect verb. It is placed before the verb and is usually translated as an adverb, for example, surely, definitely, certainly. The imperfect verb tomus means you will die. When the infinitive absolute mos is placed before it, the translation changes to you will certainly die or you will surely die. The imperfect verb tochal means you will eat. When the infinitive absolute ochol is placed before it, the translation changes to you will eat freely or you will eat well. Many English adverbs can be used to translate this kind of infinitive absolute, as long as the verb is emphasised. Occasionally, the infinitive absolute is placed after a verb. In these cases, it is either to give emphasis to the verb, particularly after imperatives and participles, or to express that the action is continuous. The imperative shim'u means listen. If an infinitive absolute is placed after it, it either means listen well, emphasising the listening, or it means listen continuously. The infinitive absolute can also be used instead of an imperative to emphasise the command. The imperative zachor means remember. If the infinitive absolute zachor is used instead of the imperative, it gives emphasis to the command. A fourth use of the infinitive absolute is as an ing word called a gerund. The infinitive absolute ochol can mean eating and holoch going. You may have noticed that nearly all of the infinitives absolute we have looked at have had the same vowel pattern, o o. It is worth knowing this pattern as it will help you to identify the kal infinitive absolute, which is the most common. Now pause the video and see if you can spot the infinitives absolute in these verses. There may be more than one in a verse. Here are the infinitives absolute in these verses. In summary.